What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Toon Rami, in front of the video on Dragon Ball Z Dokon Battle. It is very late for me. Actually, it's very early. It's about 3 a.m., and uh, some information has started to roll out regarding JP's 4.1.1.0.1.0. I don't know. Um, normally, you guys know that I like to cover global stuff, not really JP. But in this particular case, I do want to go over some of it because it is some pretty monumental stuff that brings some real significant changes to the future of Dokkan. And it's not so much that I want Global to prepare, it's more so that people can know what's coming because only good stuff is in store for Dokkan players. This is actually very, very exciting. I'm so proud to be a Dokkan player right at this moment because it really appears like they are doing what they can to reinvent the game and kind of add some sort of soft reset to things. So let's take a look at all the information that's been dropping, but before we do, I'm sure you guys have seen this image circulating around maybe on Reddit, whatnot. Some of the updates to the Link skills. So as you guys know, there's been a lot, I mean, over the five years of Dokkan, a lot of things have gotten outdated. Static boosts, uh, leader skills, passives, the meta has slowly been shifting upward, and as such, certain things get left behind, certain links, certain units, etc. So what they have decided to do is make a conscious effort to kind of bring some of those units and those links or whatever back into relevancy. And this is a huge, huge step. Now me personally, I've never really cared for links as far as like paying attention to them, breaking them down into a science. I think I might need to start because honestly, there's a lot there. And now that they're updating these links, quite significantly, I'm going to have to really start taking notes and paying attention. So this is also not only going to be a video for you guys to update you or just inform you, but it's also going to be kind of for me to just go over everything and kind of see what's happening. And it'll kind of give me an idea of what I need to really start working on because Dokkan is really, I mean, they're, they're in it for the long haul and I'm very proud of these guys. So some of the link updates. The first thing that, that pops out is legendary power. Legendary power was always a static boost, I believe, a flat boost. Now it's a percentage thing. Attack plus 10% when super attack is launched. I'm not going to go every single one, but basically every single static boost is now gone. It's been changed to a relative boost, a percentage boost. That's significant. And what this is going to do is it's going to make units more effective than you thought before. It's going to give the illusion of a meta shift. It's going to seem like every single unit got stronger. When in reality, nothing's really changed as far as like Actually, maybe a little bit, but still, the hierarchy is going to remain. But at least this could this is going to make more units that you weren't necessarily expecting to be very effective now to be more effective. So, Kamehameha, Saiyan Warrior Race, Disciple, Crane School, everything got a revamp. Telekinesis, all defense, all enemies defense by 10%. That's a big one. Telekinesis, that's what, Chaozu, and that's it? So, that's uh, that's the first thing. Now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I wanted to talk about. So... Version 1, 4.1 point, whatever, on JP, Air Dokkan, uh, Luka Dokkan, uh, Proton, all these data miners, thank you so much for doing your work. I'm just going to go over all the tweets that I'm seeing, okay? So, we'll just click on, actually, I think I saw Luka Dokkan's first. So, he has set up this giant thread. Implementation of link skill level. We plan to add the function of level to the link skills by increasing the skill link level. It is possible to increase the effect of the link skill and obtain additional effects. Level wins the battle. By doing so, it will rise with a probability. So basically, you do stuff, you level it up. It's kind of like an RPG in a way. You just gain experience and your stats boost. In this case, not necessarily your stats, but your links. Improve display during battle by holding down the character icon of an ally or an enemy during battle. You can check information such as such aesthetic? Oh, no, no. Such as the kill of the target character. The number of elapsed turns is also displayed on the battle screen. Some of the things I'm going to be reading to you might be a little choppy because of translations. Also, there's going to be a lot of overlap, so bear with me. Improvement of the category filter added include all, include any, narrowing the condition in the category filter. So, okay, let, let's just go over these three. So, number one, what they've done is they've made the link skill... Uh, the whole concept of the link skill is more intuitive. So it's not just going to be flat boost. They're actually going to make it percentage based. And then apparently you're going to be able to level them up through experience or through just running events. So kind of like an RPG element, 
you, you, you take like a team of six with an X amount of link skills, you go into the quest mode, you farm out a bunch of quest mode, and boom, you level up your link skills, and it starts to scale up a little bit, which is good. This is this is a really smart and effective way to begin the ascent to the new meta, because instead of leaving old units in the dust by releasing units like the LR Full Power Jiren, or you know any of these new units, with this, you're bringing everybody with you. So now you're gonna start to get used to how much damage you do, you're gonna get used to how much higher the numbers become, this is a really, really good first step. Honestly, I would say Game Design 101. This is a pretty smart way to initiate the transition to the next level of the meta. Improved display. So this one, I've seen a couple other screenshots. Um, I'm very much liking this a lot because there's actually been a lot of things. You know, when I saw these pictures, it reminded me of questions that people had asked me during my streams. Like, hey, Toon, what do you think... Uh, what do you think is one thing that they should change? Everyone always says friends, you know, like the, the friends system stuff is terrible. And it's true. It's garbage. But there's a lot of stuff actually in the battle system that I've never really been a fan of. And one of the things is when I'm in the middle of a long, arduous event, like let's say the Legendary Goku event, right? And let's say that I've used an item. Sometimes, especially when I'm streaming, I'm talking to you guys, I'm interacting with you guys, and I'll, I'll use an item. Let's say I use Aider, right? After that first turn that I use Aider, the next turn, sometimes I don't know which item I just used. Did I use Aider? Did I perhaps use a different item? There are ways to figure it out by like checking the, the, the rotating icons that pop up on your units. But as far as a well-designed UI, there should be more than one way to skin a cat. That's basically the, the premise. There should be more than one way to navigate through and get to the conclusion that you want. If you want to reverse Dokkan Awakening Unit, you now have multiple ways to do it because they've implemented certain ways to go through roundabout channels and get to the destination that you want. Likewise, during a battle, there should be multiple ways to assess the situation by seeing, okay, how much stat boost do we have? What items have been used? What turn has it been? How many debuffs does the opponent have? Instead of having to sit there and cycle through all of the, the rotating... Um, logos that pop up on the character they apparently are now going to be introducing different ways to show that so let's see like right here for example on the boss you click and hold the character uh the mini icon and it's going to list out everything that's going on i guess it's going to list out what he's immune to as well as what he's currently affected or flicked inflicted by afflicted by afflicted by so they are making the battle ui a lot more intuitive a lot more thorough so that you can get all the information that you need right then and there. Turn counters, it says right here. In addition to the news about the link skills that we already talked about, the battle will be improved. You'll be able to see effects of buffs, debuffs of ours or the enemy and the number of elapsed turns. A lot of very useful things. Elapsed turns, that's a big one actually. That's a big one because let's say you want to transform Goku Black Rose. On the sixth turn, no, fifth turn, no, sixth turn, doesn't matter. If you've got a turn counter, well, now you know. Sure, you could count, but like I said, the best sort of design gaming is to have more than one way to skin a cat. If you have to keep track of the turn yourself, the game is not doing enough for you. Because there's varying levels of gamers out there. Some people have the, have the capacity to hold in a bunch of random information, a lot of moving parts. Some gamers don't. Some people just want a simple experience with every single piece of information there in front of them. Things like this drastically improve that experience. This is a hugely underrated thing, and I'm actually very, very excited. So the reason why I'm talking about this again is because global players, we have a lot of good stuff to look forward to because they are really, really amping it up. Dokkan is... Dokkan just got its second wind, honestly. Like, after the five-year, what do we really have to look forward to other than banners, right? Now, we have something more to look forward to in that our gaming experience is about to be enhanced thanks to things like this. Things that should have been there all along, sure. But they are actually taking the time and effort to do this. I don't know what exactly this is on screen right now, though. Level 6, 4, 10. I could just be... Oh, you know what? This this might be... Oh, these are the links. Are these the links? I believe these might be links. Um, yeah, you can, so you're holding down on your character, and then you're seeing... I think that's your passive... I don't know what this is. But these appear to be links, and I guess these are varying levels of uh, your link skills. So I guess because this person played a lot with uh, characters that had this common link, I'm kind of I'm kind of making assumptions right now for this particular moment. So bear with me. 
I'm going to say that he did a lot of events or runs of some kind with units that have the same exact link as this one. And that's why this particular link is leveled out at max 10. And as such, he interacted with other units that had these link skills, but not as frequently as he did with the level 10. That's what I'm guessing this is. And then at the moment, these three links are active because whatever. That's really, really cool. Um, what is this, though? I'm not exactly sure what this is. Maybe this is... Uh, I don't know what this is. You guys can fill me in. Um, there was something that was just mentioned, though. Yes. Improvement of the category filter added including all, include all, and include any. So... This makes me wonder, did they do the thing that I actually wanted a lot, which was the whole cross-referencing thing? I I'm actually going to take you to my game right now, and I want to show you what I'm talking about. So if you're trying to select a character, let's say you're trying to put together a team, right? You want to put together a team consisting of characters that are Super Saiyans and also in um, Vegeta's family, okay? You want to get units that intersect. Let's say you want to put together a team of units that are in Vegeta's family, but also in Super Saiyans. Bardock is not in Vegeta's family. Bardock is in Super Saiyans. So, I'm, I, I hope this is what they're trying to say. I would like there to be a way to have two options. When you're trying to find a unit or some of some kind, you have the option to cross-reference, have an intersection point between the two categories, or include all I, I, I'm guessing that's what they're trying to say here so like if I wanted to pick show display all the units that are in Super Saiyans and in Vegeta's family boom that's what you get here right you get all these units but if you want to get the units that are only in Super Saiyans while at the same time only in Vegeta's family you should be able to have an option to do that in the game and I've mentioned this a couple of times recently on my streams this cross-referencing Dokkan category database would be very helpful for me because it also allows me to better create teams for videos, for content that I would very much enjoy doing because it just takes so much of the legwork and so much of the stress off of painstakingly going through and finding which units happen to intersect on which categories. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I am looking at this as the information has been rolling in. It's been about 30 minutes. Um, so there might be more information by the time you see this, because after all, it is very late. So by the time you see this, it might be morning, midday, wherever you are. So feel free to let me know, clarify in the comments. I am also learning this for the first time as I go. Some link skill effects will be adjusted with the implementation of the function. For the details on the above adjustments, please refer to the pub publicly available information on adjusting link skills effects. Okay. Please be aware that in some events, such as Extreme Z Battle, even if you win a battle, level will not rise. Makes sense. Makes sense. Just like in Extreme Z Battles, you don't get uh, rank, so it makes sense. For behaviors after implementing this function, please refer to the information, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I, th I think we're done with Luka Dokkan. Uh, Air Dokkan, let's see what else. Include all, include any options will be added. Oh, everything is the same thing. Everything else is the same. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. This is the actual, like... Well, th this this is... I don't, I don't know who this is. This is uh, Dadago, right. Level scale function, it would be nice, but I don't want every enemy to have the same probability. Hmm. What that tells me is that there's going to be a lot of information on screen that some things might get redundant. I don't know. I, I don't think there's any point in um, diving into that further. What's going on here? That's not important. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm also looking through. Talon had some stuff to say. Um... During battle, you'll be able to tap on the character to see which links are active, what level they are, or more. More details on actually how they level up coming soon. Touch the boss icon to see if they're stun sealed, etc. Note some events uh, will not have leveled up skills, allow you to level them up, blah, 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 blah. That's pretty much it, actually. I think I covered it. So, that's pretty much the gist of it. Really, really great quality of life changes coming to Dokkan. It's coming to JP first. So, you know what? If there's some problems, if there's some bugs, they'll work out the kinks, they'll fix it. And then by the time it reaches global, it will be so good. So good. This might be the best, quite literally, the best thing to ever happen to Dokkan. Honestly. I know that might seem a bit dramatic, 
But I, I'm I'm being serious. I'm being sincere. Like they they are doing they are doing a very good job. <laughs> and you know, in light of what's been happening in other games, I'm not gonna say which Dragon Ball game that uh, you know people have been really frustrated with. It is very nice to know that the team behind Dokkan is putting their best foot forward. Honestly, the only criticism I guess I could I could come up with is nothing's being addressed. Oh, you know what? It's not four. Yeah, nothing's being addressed about the friend system. I just realized it's not four point one point one. It's four point one one point zero. Who cares? Uh, so I hope this made somewhat of a little bit of sense. Again, I am looking at this for the first time just like you, so if I miss some things, if some stuff didn't make sense, well, information is still rolling in, and uh, you can totally check out all of these guys. We got Air Dokkan, Luka Dokkan, um, Dadag Dadago, Bird at Dokkan, uh, Cody. So there there's a lot of data miners out there. I love the Dokkan community. These guys really do their best work and i am very thankful as as should we all so that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments how excited are you about these updates i am super 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 excited it's going to make dokkan so much more popular i'm telling you i'm telling you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and Click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.